What's up everyone? In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a tent in places where you can't really use the stakes. Either because the ground is too rocky, like it is over here, it's basically just rock, or it could be because the ground is frozen. This is going to be a very quick video because honestly it isn't really that hard. Some of you might already know this technique, but well if you don't, here it goes. If you own a trekking pole tent, they usually already come with a piece of string on each corner, just like you see on my REI Ultralight tent. But if you own a freestanding tent, they usually just have this fabric extension on each corner with a hole for the pole to go through and a fabric loop for the stake to go through. For this technique, you need some kind of a string on each corner. So if you own a checking pole tent, you're all set. But if you own a freestanding tent, you need to attach some kind of a string on each corner. The best thing that you could do is to permanently attach some paracord to each corner of your freestanding tent and leave it there in case you need to use this technique someday. But if you need to do it quickly and you don't have any paracord laying around, you can also use your guy lines, which I'll do right now, or you could use your shoelaces or fishing line or any other type of string that you have laying around. The string shouldn't be too long, maybe about 50 centimeters in length. The first thing that you need to do is attach one end of it to the corner of your tent, which I'll do right now. When that's done, you need to create another loop on this end. You end up with something like this, and you need to do that for each corner of your freestanding tent. But I'll show you how to use this technique on my trekking ball tent, because it already has a string like that on each corner. The next thing that you need to do is find another smaller rock, which is just about the size of this one, or you could also use a twig, and a larger rock. Or you could also use a boulder or maybe a piece of ice or something large and heavy that won't be pushed over by the wind. Then you need to create another adjustable loop with the string, tie it around the smaller piece of rock, place it where you want it to be, and place the larger rock on top. Then you need to repeat that on each corner. On this particular tent, I'll have to do it nine times. So I'll do that right now and show you the end result. All right, so I just finished setting everything up and in total I had to use one, two, three, four, five larger rocks and nine smaller ones because the way that this tent needs to be set up, I had to use two smaller rocks on each corner. As you can see, everything holds up really nicely. And I actually prefer using this technique if it's very windy outside because the stakes, they can come out very easily. But these rocks, they aren't going anywhere. I hope this tip was useful for you. If you're constantly hiking in the mountains, you probably already knew this one. But in case you didn't, I'm glad that I could help you out because you might use that someday. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. But only if you subscribed. Bye.